This video is about all the shops that I went through in my career in blacksmithing and that you may also find yourself doing too. It does not include all the places where I took classes or all the places that I taught classes. How nice it was to find this photograph of me at Colonial Williamsburg when I was about three. This is where I took my first class in blacksmithing and also spent many hours working to learn the trade and also to demonstrate for the public here. I purchased a hundred pound anvil and a rivet forge and I would store these in the basement and then drag them up into the driveway in order to practice my work. When done, I would have to drag it back down into the basement. Finally, we took the hog pen on the adjacent family farm and turned it into the blacksmith shop. Now I finally had an indoor place to work. I took a masonry class at the local Votech and built a brick forge and chimney. This shop served me for about 10 years and I produced a lot of colonial and contemporary works in it. My next shop was never completed, but I did do some work in it. I set up one shop in the basement of a house that I was renting. A friend let me use the corner of his welding shop in exchange for classes. The shed was the smallest shop that I ever had, but at least it kept everything inside and out of the weather. I was still able to produce some fountains and even some tables in this shop. So then I moved from the smallest shop I ever had to the biggest shop I ever had. This is three truck bays. I had an office and showroom, a separate welding area, and even got a nasal 1B power hammer. I was there almost three years and then the landlord wanted his building back. For a short time, I used another Smith's second shop that he had. I bought a house with a separate two car garage and set up my shop in there. This shop lasted me a little bit over 20 years. I moved to West Virginia in 2015 and it took me over a year to find my new home. It took me over a year to set up the new shop, but now I have one of the nicest shops I've ever had. It has a bathroom, a separate welding and grinding room, and plenty of room for teaching. This will be my last shop. I'm done with moving, and I hope that you have as much luck as I have in your career.